Monroe schools came up 79 votes short of passing an emergency operating levy. Nine News reporter Amy Wattis is live outside Monroe Junior Senior High School with what's next for the school district. Amy. Well, Monroe School Superintendent Elizabeth Lawley tells me she's disappointed that the levy did not pass. She's also pleased that it lost by such a small margin, indicating that there's still hope for the school's future. Now, Lawley says an, all, an audit report was just released explaining the financial situation the district is in. Officials hope this will educate the public on the school district's financial plan for the future. Now, the levy failure means more cuts to extracurricular activities and sports in the sc new school year, which begins come August 20th. We've cut back to almost minimum standards with our teaching staff. Uh, there will be no music, art, and physical education um, on a regular basis in our elementary and primary schools. There will be a little bit of music, a little bit of uh, physical education, no art at all. Now, electives have also been cut back at the high school as well as transportation for athletics. However, the superintendent says they'll continue to try and educate the public on this levy and uh, hope that they can make an informed decision come November 2nd when they will try again. Amy Wattis, 9 News, live from Monroe Junior Senior High School.